All right, let's continue with the reading. Our book this week is Too Small. Who do you think in the story is too small? Let me read about the story. Who do you think it's about? Yeah, Abby, because she's the little one in the family. So, that's most likely it's about her. She's too small for something, huh? So, let's find out what she's too small for. All right. Lots of blue writing in here for the parents to read, huh? Challenging for those of you that read the blue parts, too, huh? Some new words. All right, so I'm going to read it to you. This is... The day to the, I'm sorry. This is the day of the blueberry parade. Remember when I look at this on the screen, it's backwards. So I have a little bit of trouble as I have a, a book out on, I have my other book. I have two books out so that I can see, see the correct words. <laughs> I'm trying to point to them as I read. All right. So this is the day of the blueberry parade. Dave and Ron, remember Ron, his friend Ron right there, um, will be in the parade. Now here's your part. The boys, oh look, there's a word with oi. The boys will ride bikes. Abby is too small to ride. So if you look at that picture of her, look, she's tugging on Dave, saying, I want to do this too, huh? Look at Muffin. She's hiding behind his leg. She's just hiding behind his leg, huh? All right, let's look at the next page. There's Grant. She's going ready to go grab a hold of him and tug on him huh, too, huh? So it says, Grant's band will be in the parade. Grant plays a horn. He must march and play. Abby is too small to be in the band. Oh, she can't play an instrument. She's a little too little, huh? All right, let me turn the page. Oops, wrong way. All right, there's mom. Look at Abby and mom. Look at their dresses. They match. Mother, daughter, huh? Oh, cute. When Madison was little, sometimes we'd wear matching clothes. Maybe some of you girls get to that. I remember I got us for Mother's Day one year. I got us uh, shirts that matched. We wore the same shirts for Mother's Day, so we matched. All right. So, Mom and Abby get, we got a compound word here, into the van. Mom has a pail. Abby has a pail. Hmm, they have pails. I wonder what those are going to be used for. Where will Mom and Abby go with pails? Mm, see, they even asked the question, where do you think they're going to go? When I first saw this, I was thinking of, if you go to the parade, if you go sit on the street and watch a parade, a lot of times they throw candy. Um, and kids, like I would just take like a bag. My kids would put their candy in the bag. Maybe she's going to put her candy in. That's what I thought, but we'll see. All right, next we have, look here, there's, Grandpa and Grandma coming. Look how Dad, look how nice he's setting out chairs for them to sit and watch the parade. You sit in chairs. I see your parents. I sit in a chair sometimes and watch a parade in town. All right, well, let's read what this says. It says, Dad puts seats on the lawn. Who, oh, there's our new word. Who will sit here? Grandpa will sit here. Grandma will sit here. So there they come. That's nice that he did that for them. Huh? That was kind. So they can watch the grandkids in the parade, huh? Let's turn our page. 
So first of all, here it says Blueberry Parade. Everybody's got on blue. And Abby and Mom, those polka dots on their dress made me think of blueberries too. All right, here comes the flag. Who, I'm sorry, there's our word again. Who is in the band? Grant gets to march and play his horn. Where's Grant? Do you see him? Right there he is. And look at his face. He looks like he's really, he's not uh, horsing around or anything. He's concentrating and taking it seriously and doing a good job, huh? Playing his horn. Looks like he's concentrating on it. Oh, and look in the background, too. You can see, look, Grandma and, and Grandma and Grandpa and Dad, they're all cheering him on. That's nice, huh? All right, let's look who else. Let's look at the next page. Here comes the bikes. Who rides with Dave? Who's in there? Muffin. That's why she was hanging out close to Dave, huh? She was hoping he was going to pick her up and put, a, put her in his basket, huh? She likes to ride in there. Good thing she listens and stays in there. Most cats would jump out. I actually used to have a basket like that on my bike when I was little. And I used to have a dog, my little dog, and she would fit in, and she would listen and stay. And she, I would ride around with my dog and my, and the bike. It was my, her name was Lightning. She was my, my dog Lightning because she had a white streak down her face. So we named her Lightning. All right, let me finish reading this, the blue part now. Muffin is in the parade, too. Dave and Ron wave as they go by. You got to be careful riding those bikes. Trying to wave while you're riding your bike, you could tip over, huh? But then in the background, you see Grandpa and you see, you see Dad, huh? Waving to them. And Muffin's looking at them, too, huh? All right, so let's see what happens on the next page. Now you know why Abby and Mom had the pails. Look, they're on a float. So they're on a float. Let me. So it says here, here comes a float. Who is on the float? Mom is picking blueberries. Abby is eating blueberries. Abby is not, the word is not, too small to ride on the float. So she got to go on the float. She's eating the blueberries and waving. They don't show in the background though. I don't see like grandpa or dad or grandma, huh? Just neighbor people, huh? And there's a tractor pulling them. That's a cute little float. So that's why they wore those dresses. Because those dresses kind of look like matching dresses and blueberries that would go along with the float. So that's why they were dressed up like that. Mm, they weren't using the pails for candy like I said, huh? Like I thought when I first saw the story. All right, let's read our words together. New word, who. Okay, ready? We'll start here. Bag, rag, wag, flag. Next row. All, ball, fall, small. Next row. In, van, pan, Plan. Those are some old ones. We haven't had those in a while. All right, let's go back over here. We have dawn, fawn, lawn. Next, we have born, horn, mourn. And the last row with our oys, we have boy, joy, Roy. See the capital R? That's a person's name, Roy. And the last one, toy. All right, that is your reading for the week. So make sure you practice each night with your parents. Um, 
reading each day. And that'll be your homework for each day. And we have, I think, one more book left to go. Wow. And then we'll be done. You, you will have read every book in my box after next week. Can you believe that we went through all those books? Bunches of them. Wow, this one's number, it has the numbers on 31. So 32, after you're done next week, 32 books you will say you have read in kindergarten. That's a lot of books. All right, let's get ready for math. 